Today we are doing another Shark Movie Review, and today is a series that, well, I grew up with. You probably all know it. No, it's not Jaws. I'm too young to even have grown up with Jaws. No, it's not the Mega Shark series, and yes, probably judging by the title, it is Sharknado. The Sharknado series. Let's get into this movie. So the movie does begin opening with some Chinese buyers buying shark fin soup off the coast. Yeah, that's actually a real thing, sadly. But little do they know, a gigantic sharknado is coming and approaching, approaching towards them. So after a fake bias and one of the and one of the buyers escaping with all the money, the the um the other guy hunts him down and shoots him in the leg, which results in him the Chinese dude getting eaten by a shark. Yep, already right after a start. But little do he does he know the tornado and this has to be my favorite scene in this whole movie. The tornado picks him up up and just and just all around it has him get pinned down pinned in the tornado and the sharks kill that's the only kill that actually would make sense so yeah and then after that we get to meet our main characters Ian Zing playing um Finn and of course you might have seen it Tara Reid is in this movie in fact she's in for the entire series if you don't know she, who she is, then you have not been watching Sharknado. But if you've been avoiding it, then go watch Vipers. Because, yeah, that'll be a movie she'll be in. Or go watch Trailer Park Shark. She appeared in it for a cameo. So we made all of our main characters. And then the tornado literally comes. And, yeah, kills people. They escape. And, well, the CGI is bad. Again, it is owned by Sci-Fi, so series by the Asylum Sci-Fi. So CGI. So if we start out with ten. CGI is bad, which takes away two. But then the fact that the acting is also bad that takes away one point. And but the fact that honestly, the idea of a Sharknado is actually pretty darn cool. And it's actually happened, not be happened before, not like, you know, sharks actually going in tornadoes, but there's a storm, I don't know when this happened, but there was apparently a storm that was like dropping fish on the ground, or even spiders, snakes, or frogs, I don't know, um, hang on, let me check this, okay, I couldn't find it, but yeah, so apparently sharks are dropped from the sky, and yeah, that's basically the entire movie, just them running away from sharks. And then they go to like this one, this airport, and that's where we meet another character, which is the main character's son. Yeah, so he's in it, and he wants to be a pilot and whatnot. Granted, the only thing I really liked, the so yeah, that was Sharknado, and... To be honest with you, when they first were coming up with the idea, they thought no one was going to watch this. But they were wrong. Because they made like six whole movies worth of this entire franchise. And while I got four of them, which we'll be reviewing, I've seen all six of them. So when I hit four and six, which I don't have the movies of, before I do that, I might just... Record it with a image of the Sharknado 4 and Sharknado 6 post image. But yeah, that was Sharknado. Granted, I would give it a 6 out of 10. Because it's just a classic old cheesy shark movie. Just, you know, a sit down, have fun, watching the movie. You don't really take anything too serious in this and it's just to relax, relax. Yeah, Sharknado. Although, one point that I'll give is the fact that it had unique sharks. Instead of just plain old great whites, they had tigers, what looked like makos, thrashers, I think, and hammerheads, which are my favorite. So I will give a point up 
because of using certain type of construction. But in the back, you look closely, you can tell there's sharks, and I can tell you that that small little bugger right there is a hammerhead. I can tell because I can see it clearly on the back. But yeah, you guys, 7 out of 10, Sharknado. Bye, Darwin, you better not bark.